Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I've done over 3,000 paid voiceovers. I got into that through writing music, and I just so happen to be an expert in Audacity. So today, we are going to talk about a plugin that allows us to import video files directly into Audacity. This is applicable for Mac and Windows users. Um, so basically, previously, we've talked about some converters, a VLC media player, where we can convert video files to MP3 and take those MP3s and then load them into Audacity. Uh, this plugin allows us to do that automatically with no converters. So definitely stay tuned because the next video is going to talk about just a few things you may want to look out for when you are adjusting audio for your videos. And we're also going to talk about how you can then take that audacity audio and tie it back to the video replacing the old audio on that video so stay tuned for that but without further ado let's get into installing this plugin it is called ffmpeg so we're going to go to edit and we're going to preferences and when we have preferences open we're looking for keyboard or i'm sorry we're looking for libraries right here on the left hand side so once we click libraries you'll see right here it says lame mp3 export library guys it's actually really cool okay it's not lame uh but all jokes aside we're going to want to click download and what we're looking for is if we're looking to select the correct operating system so for me that would be windows mac it's right here guys okay you say you never have your back mac users it's right here uh, but moving forward i will click windows and once you select your operating system, you'll see right up here at the top, installing the FFmpeg import slash export library on Windows, and we will click that. And once we do, right here at about the middle of the page, recommended installer, we will go to the external FFmpeg download page, and we will click this. So what we're looking for is a .exe file. So we're looking for this 2.2.2 binary um for audacity 2.0.6 and later and if you don't have a version that is more current than that i highly recommend you update there's a lot of really cool effects that were not available back then so definitely update it doesn't take long um and you'll thank me later so let's go ahead and click this exe file and once we do you'll see it downloading right here very small file won't take long and once it's done, let's go ahead and open that. And then we'll go through the typical process of the installation. Select your language, next, 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 yada, yada, that stuff. So let's do it. English, perfect, next, next, next. And I've already installed this. So that's the only reason this prompt is popping up, but we're going to continue anyhow. Um, and we'll click install. So basically what it's saying here is that it's going to have to close Audacity so that when we open it back up, it will be ready to go and we will be able to import videos directly into Audacity. So it's closing it, it's extracting the files and we're finishing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open Audacity up and we will drop a video right in there. Here's a video, boom loading it right up for us <laughs> and presto just like that so that is how we install this plugin no external converters needed and stay tuned because the next video we're going to talk about what we're going to want to do and a few things to look out for um as well as taking this audacity audio and tying it back to the video replacing the old cruddy audio so until next time stay safe stay positive i got your back